Blocks CAD skills. Set operations. The intersection block. Intersection is a set operation. It works on two or more shapes together and renders only the part of the shapes that intersect or overlap. To get started, we'll go to the 3D Shapes tab and bring out a sphere and a cube and render them. Notice that the two shapes intersect or overlap and part of the cube occupies the same space as part of the sphere. Now go to the Set Operations category and bring out an intersection block. The intersection block needs at least two shapes to be able to work. Note, it doesn't matter what order the shapes go into the block, you'll get the same result either way. Remember at the beginning of this video we said that intersection is a set operation that renders only the parts of selected shapes that intersect or overlap. So let's put the sphere and the cube into the intersection block, but before we hit render, take a moment to think about what we're going to see. Okay, click render, and what you get is just the part of the two original shapes that overlapped. To see the original model again, just remove one shape from the intersection block and render, and there's our original model with the overlapping portion inside of the sphere. Let's bring the cube back inside the intersection block, render, and there's the overlapping portion once again. What do you suppose would happen if we take the intersection of two shapes that don't overlap? Well, to do this, we'll need to translate the cube away so that it's no longer touching the sphere. Drag out a translate block and snap it around the cube, like this. We'll translate the cube 10 millimeters along the x-axis and render. Now, no parts of our cube and sphere intersect or overlap. So, what do you think we'll see if we put them into the intersection block and render? Well, since nothing is shared and nothing overlaps, the result is nothing. Nothing intersects, so nothing is rendered. Let's clean up our workspace and prepare it so we can take a look at how intersections work on more than two shapes at a time. Here we have three overlapping spheres, one at the origin, one translated 5 mm along the x-axis, and one 5 mm along the y. Let's take out an intersection block and see how this works. To load in more than two shapes, Click the plus icon on the intersection block to create an additional slot or bay. Put the three spheres into the intersection block and render. Notice the result is only the part where all three spheres intersected together. To make it clearer, let's take a look at these models side by side. Now you can tell why they look like they do. You can watch this skills video again, or to practice what you've just learned, launch BlocksCAD and start building.